Jim and I both left home very young, and so we visited our parents uh, during our young adulthood until their deaths. And uh, I was I was young when my father died. I think I was 25 or 26 when my father died. Jim and I both left home very young, and so we visited our parents. Uh, during our young adulthood until their deaths and uh, I was I was young when my father died I think I was 25 or 26 when my father died and I uh, was um, Let's see in 1978 I was 40 when my mother died um, and um, I think one of the regrets that I have is that I didn't spend as much time with them as I should have or wanted to uh, while they were alive. And of course they both died young, so um, it was a loss, a great loss. Um, then I'm, the reason that I'm telling this story is to encourage um, all of us, uh, the parents and the children, and now our children have their own children. Um, I, I want to encourage you all, or all of us, self-included, um, to spend more time together, to get together um, from time to time, uh, share stories, uh, tell stories. That's really one of the uh, wonderful things about this website is that Behind all of these photographs, there's stories, and so uh, these images can become a catalyst or a forcing function for all of us to talk about what went on, what was life like, um, be able to see it and talk about it and learn from it. Uh, because once we're gone, once my parents were gone, I didn't have them to ask, you know, and I have a number of unanswered questions that, that just will have to be unanswered. So I'm just simply telling you this so that everyone looking at this will think about spending more time with family and talking about our lives and what our values are, what we believe in. I think there's a real value in life to that. And I'm learning that now at age 65, more than ever. An example of that is that uh, this photograph of Edna, uh, and there's one other photograph that's on the website, um, is something that uh, Carolyn's mother, my mother's sister, Madeline, had. And um, I have to assume that this is something that um, grandfather had and that my mother was familiar with this picture, um, but I'd never seen it. I'm 65 years old, so I didn't ever see it. Carolyn's a little older than I am, three years older, and she had never seen it. It was in her mother's possessions. And um, so, I think the value of having all of these photographs uh, available to us now on this website is that we can know who these people were. And um, I hope that's important to you. It certainly is to me. And I have a, a deep abiding love and interest in uh, genealogy and doing that research of discovering who people were. Um, and I found a long lost, not long lost, I found a cousin in Scotland through Ancestry.com that I'm communicating with. And we share the same great, great grandmother. And so this is a woman who lives on the North Sea in Arbro, Scotland, northeast of where our grandfather, Sharp, uh, emigrated from in Dundee, Scotland. Not far, she's only about 17 miles from Dundee. And um, so it's just been fabulous to find somebody who is, you know, we share the same DNA. And um, 
So that's uh, a very interesting example of the, really the value of having these photographs and understanding and asking questions while people are alive about them and about who these people were and so forth.